And now the game's just immediately broken. Alright. Well, this is surprising so far, because say what you like about Call of Duty games, they're usually very polished. And this thing, not so much. Glitchy as hell. I've had two glitches now within the first two minutes of the game. Scared to look to the side again in case it bugs. <laughs> Can we get out of the launch tube this time? Alright, do I have to press something? Okay, that may not have looked so cool from your angle, but from mine, like, within the ship, like, wow, this is amazing. I'm supposed to follow this. Holy shit. Steering, that's throttle. Alright. And that's pitch. Slow down to run a diagnostic scan. You need to stop here to get a diagnostic reading. Actual, this is Scar 1 2, confirming moderate damage to the aft sensor array. Main antenna This is surprisingly easy to control. Like, Roger 1 2, we'll get a maintenance crew on that. Can you take care of any remaining debris before it causes more damage? Oh man! I'm in Star Wars. Yeah, figured that out alright. What was it about the head movements? Head movements don't seem to do anything. Reading an energy fluctuation up ahead. It could be related to the damage sensor array. Can you give us a visual? Marking it's the instantly the, the best space sim I've ever played. Wow. Actual, we're approaching the location. Looks like it might be the sensor array acting a... Wait. Holy shit, what is that? Actual, we're under attack. I've got visual on an MDF supercarrier. They've got skelters inbound. Get Can't wait to play the Star Wars now. Or we need to drop fire away from our ship. Ah! Whoa, that rubble came right at me. It does make you a little bit dizzy when you like, like, turn around too quickly. Oh my god, this is awesome. I can't wait till they like up their resolution on this Your stuff. Uh, Cause that's my only complaint at the moment. Switching Make the field of view maybe a little bit wider. It's not bad on the PSVR compared to the um, game that's played previously. Say it, this is better space combat than Battlefront 2 um, that I've been playing a lot. Just because it's so much easier to track 
the enemies you're playing in uh, the uh, You're not just doing it. Missiles. Roger, twos are inbound. Five seconds. Whoa. Why did Check six. My controls inverted for a second. I'm engaging. That's what the square button does, obviously. Two more is down. Whoa ha ha ha. Come here, dude. Atlantic taking heavy enemy fire. Roger, two's down. I almost wish I'd had more time. Just admire the view before I got pulled into a big fight. That's all it is, one mission. Or was that the tutorial? So that's reset view roll. Oh, well, there is a missile. It's the other one. You have to hold it. Oh, that's what the head movement was for. Oh, okay. I missed that the first time. I was like, Tippy's gaping at everything. Whoa, you can just fire missiles by looking at them. That's so cool. It, you do get a little bit dizzy when you like do this, when you turn or you're looking in another direction. As long as you stay looking forward though, it's fine. We saw multiple targets at once. Yeah, missiles. I'd love to play this like actual multiplayer. Can you imagine?
coming up after you. Yeah. Whoa, I'm nearly ready to do that shit. Dug it, dug it. Dead. I can't wait to show Dom this tomorrow. You're gonna love this. He likes three arrows more than I do. Game, it's just one mission. Jesus, the whole thing. Full game of this. I mean, heaven. This is Tigris. We are engaging SDF destroyer. Tigris going weapons free. Time. How many was I the first time? 25? Yeah, I got a bunch more. Wow, look at the difference missiles make. Pretty sure I had 25 the first time. Well, that is very cool. I just wish there was more of it. <laughs> Alright, have a good one, guys.